Well, it's another beautiful day here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. We had a little cold wind come in this morning, but now it's nice and warm, and we've returned to our usual balmy Florida weather. Just having a look around this morning, and uh, uh oh, what's this? What's coming here? Oh my gosh. Yep, I think, yep, it's Andrew Wright again. And what's he driving now? Holy cats, look at this. My goodness. Wow. Andrew, yeah. what you got there? Well, wow, had, look at this thing. Yeah, this is a little upgrade from what I've been uh, done in the past. It's uh, a little upgrade. Huh? Yeah, it's uh, it's an old Chevy 350 with a turbo 400 transmission, Edelbrock oh. carburetor and stuff like that, and I uh, fabricated the frame. And, Whoa. Uh, uh, it's out of a Chevy. The, 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 the motor? motor is out of a Chevy Nova. Chevy Nova. Yep, it's all made from junk. Everything I got here is a junkyard special. What and, do you uh, call it? I call it scrappy. Scrappy? <laughs> yeah. And it's, that's because it's all made out of... Because it's from scrap. <laughs> made out of scrap. Right. Oh, and look at the sleek mufflers there. Yeah, it's, this one's a little bit used and old from the previous... And then where did you get the frame for this, Andrew? I built the frame in my garage uh, out of 2x2 uh, two two square tubing, and I welded it all up together, and, uh, wow. you know, I uh, pretty much made the whole thing. This is old paneling that's used in uh, bathrooms. That you, It's fiberglass and PVC mixed. And yeah, I recognize that material. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's and, pretty ingenious. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the engine here. Yes, that's a. There she is. I got a really good deal at the junkyard for this. I went to A and A junkyards up in Fort Pierce, and they said I could have the whole thing, the engine, the tranny, and everything for six hundred bucks, and I jumped on it. So that's exciting. How many? What? How many liters is that now? About a five. It's a three fifty Camaro engine, or Nova engine. Yeah. Which works out to, I think, a 5.7. 5.7 liters. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I bet this thing will really step out, it'll, Andrew. It'll, it'll get going. <laughs> uh, I have yet to, I have the throttle set as a, uh, if you notice, I'll just show it to you right here. It only opens up a quarter. Let and, me get down in there. Uh, yep, yeah, see, let me show you again. That's it. That's, so that's as far as the pedal will go? Yeah, but Quiet. it'll go a lot farther if I change things. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to change anything because uh, it's fast enough it'll as go it to, is. To, well, you mean you, you uh, put, I would a, lose put a stop? Put, uh, yes. I put would a stop on the throttle so you don't uh, take off of it into midair, right? Right, and I would lose traction and probably wind up in the woods somewhere if I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and also... Uh, I just made this little grill. It's out of wood and stuff yeah. like that. It, the, uh, the radiator on it and everything's a little bit small, but it seems to be working for now. So, you know, in these colder temperatures, I have nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's been a little cool, so it doesn't it doesn't yeah, overheat no, then. No, huh? it doesn't overheat. I put two cherry bomb mufflers on it. It's yeah. pretty quiet. Well, how and fast do you suppose this thing would go? Well, a 350 Chevy engine... Uh, with the right gearing, I'll do over a hundred miles an hour. So uh, there's no telling what this thing will do. It only weighs 1,200 pounds. So that would uh, it probably just uh, yeah, exceed. Would, uh, yes, it would go 100 back. miles per hour. Oh, very much so. I don't know if I'd ever chance it, but I doubt. You know. Yeah. Well, is this gonna? Are you gonna? Is this gonna be street worthy? Are you gonna have I'd it like licensed, to, Andrew? I'd like to get a wiring harness for it to rig up some lights and everything like that, and and uh, have some, uh, you know, fun with it. You know. It's, yeah. It 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 took me, you know, um, about a month to build. You know. Three, yeah. You know, four weeks and stuff like that. You know. And like I say, this is a well, Chevy that was Monza quick work. Chevy Monza rear end. That's out of a four-cylinder, which is a little light for this size motor. 
This is a Volkswagen front end. Oh, okay. Okay, which has got the torsion bar suspension and stuff, and I added some extra springs to it to give it a little bit of lift. Mm -hmm. Made my own motor mounts, and they're solid. And uh, the engine fit right in, you know. It, it didn't fit by much. It, it, as you can see, the steering here uh, just clears the motor. But it, it's a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, let me come around there and uh, see that see, steering. See, here's your steering shaft right yeah, here. Yeah, there you go. And it's just clearing the exhaust. Yeah, it is. Wow. And uh, it's a, it was a tight fit, but yeah. it, 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 it works. So. Well, you were lucky that it just plopped right in there. Yes, yes. Of course, you had to make care uh, careful measurements first oh, before yes. you went and bought the engine. And, right, right. And then if it didn't fit, you'd be in big right. trouble. For, I'm very pleased with the junkyard that I went to because, uh, you know, for the price that I got everything, it, it just bolted right up. And I, yeah. I couldn't ask for more. My drive shaft even matched up exactly. So, yeah. Boy. Great. Is, well, hey, listen. Why don't you take it, uh, take it around the lot here, all right. and uh, come on back in after just maybe one pass. You know, we'll hear, right. hear, how it, hear how it sounds and see how it looks on the road, and then we'll uh, we'll say goodbye. All right. Now, don't hit it too hard. Uh, nice sound. Nice sound. <laughs> Goes into reverse too, huh? <laughs> Neutral, forward. Looks like downtown. Wow, look at it. That's killer. Awesome. And here he comes. I hope he can uh, put the brakes on when he comes back. Whoa, here he comes. Yeah. Got good brakes on that puppy too. He gets up and goes. That's that quarter throttle. Quarter throttle, huh? Yup. Well, okay, Andrew, thanks a lot. This is another typical one of your ingenious inventions. <laughs> uh, this one kind of beats them all out. All right. But be careful with that, and uh, we'll see you uh, for, for your next creation. All right. Bye bye.